Hey there, everyone. So, wow, this is our final week, final assignment in this course. And I just wanted to start off by saying I am, I've been so grateful for this course because I have learned so much about um, the production process and it has really helped me a lot for learning about how to produce um, um, plays at a high school. Being that I am a theater teacher, it's helped a lot. It gave me a lot of refreshers and allowed me to critically think um, about the production process more on, you know, both aspects, technical um, and acting and the stage. So um, this week's readings were about, um, Bowman's chapter 10 was about keeping the momentum and, you know, thinking ahead. That's um, my major takeaway from this week is thinking ahead uh, in, in every step of the, you know, every step of the way. And so as you come to the end of your, um, your production process, you need to be going ahead and thinking about what you're going to do next and how can you connect what you're doing now to what you will do next. Uh, my One major takeaway that I had was to find the balance in selecting what shows you produce. Um, that was a great tip for me being that, you know, like, of course, y'all know by now, this is my... Um, first major production at my school, Lorraine Hansberry is a Raisin in the Sun, and I see it um, totally as a period drama because set in the 1950s and, you know, changing that uh, era would change the story. So um, I think next I'm going to definitely do something funny. Um, I'm, a little, I'm leaning towards Shakespeare. I'm a Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, my students have been, my intermediate students have learned, been learning Shakespeare at the beginning of this semester. So I think that would be great to like, you know, um, try to make a full blown production of that next year, next school year. Um, I'm also, like I said, I've been in the process of getting a booster club started. So I do think that that show is something that we could ta tackle um, as far as, you know, budgeting and uh, scenery, scenery and construction and all that goes. I think that would be a fun show to produce next season and it would switch from drama to comedy, something that my students are learning currently. So, you know, they'll be excited to do a full-blown production of it next year and I will too. It's one of my favorite plays ever. I am kind of worried about um, Midsummer not being my target audience because um, I teach at a predominantly black and brown school. It is a title one school and um <laughs> the, the the kiddos aren't really learning about Shakespeare much outside of my theater class. Like it's not in the curriculum anymore really to teach Shakespeare in um, you know, English classes and things like that. So I'm worried about, you know, um, will that get people in my audience? So of course you'll have like the people who support the program either way, but you know, will it bring in newcomers? to keep the program, you know, going and keep it um, forever building. So it's like, you know, is that a show that I should do? Or should I do something more contemporary? I also plan to do a musical in the spring. So this year, this school year, I did like, um, I've done two in-class plays and I'm almost to the point of doing a Raising the Sun. As you can see, I look crazy. <laughs> so it's, um, it's coming down to that time. Almost showtime's only a month away. So, um, I've only done two class plays and I'm working on Raising the Sun now. Next year, I hope to have a better planned season as far as my drama club goes. So, in the fall, I want to do a straight play. And in the um, spring, I want to shoot for a musical based on, you know, how much revenue um, we bring in. So, I'm hoping to do uh, Little Shop of Horrors or The Wiz because that was one of Bowman's recommendations earlier about, you know, when you're first starting your program, you should do um, aim for something fun, but not as big um, and as difficult, even though those are still re really big shows. But um, I'm thinking of Little Shop or The Wiz for my spring semester. And, you know, just to go back to this week's readings, we've been talking, um, it was talking about, you know, you definitely want to make sure that what you're doing increases the revenue for your program because you don't want financial limitations to get in the way of your potential of you know what you what you're trying to create and so I'm hoping to tackle that next year as well with my um hopefully my booster club is up and running over the summer and uh yeah we can do some bigger shows the raising the sun is pretty huge too but um I think it's a slow start into something much bigger 
yeah so once again those were my takeaways from this week um i really like this chapter but it, uh, once again it, that uh bowman's let's put on, kids let's put on the show is always teaching us how to think ahead think ahead think ahead and grow our program to the best that it can be and this chapter definitely reiterated that um this course has reiterated that for me so uh thank y'all and it's been good learning with you enjoy